welcome back. Now, oh, it appears we are very deep below the sea. Which is interesting. Very interesting. Hmm. Yes. You know, I think I might still have minor dyslexia because I totally just read that as suck. Like S-U-C-C. -C. I don't think that's what it actually says. Okay. Well, we've got quite the journey up to make and then head back to the life pod where we will try to construct our bronze suit. Um, although let's, hold on, I want to take a look at some uh, modules here. The depth module. Oh, hey, if we get three more rubies, then we're, then we're good to go. Or uh, the Cyclops depth module, I think that's what I'm going to have to do real fast, is actually keep looking for rubies. How many do we actually have? One. Five. We have five. I'm gonna keep the search going. Did I ever build a scanner room? Or did I deconstruct it? I think I deconstructed it. Because I was out of titanium, right? Okay. Okay, it's all coming back to me now. Okay. I remember. Oh. I want to put a creature egg in there. That's a good idea. Let's do that. What could possibly go wrong? There's some rubies up there. And some lithium, which is what I need for the uh, pastel ingots. Ooh, this place is like rich in like resources and whatnot. How big is that creature egg? Okay, it's small. Perfect. Oh, jeez. Holy crap, that scared me. Oh. Wow, that actually scared the absolute hell out of me. Oh, wow. Um, that was not very nice. How far is my Cyclops? Far. Not too far. It's actually closer for me to go straight up than it is for me to go. Oh, titanium. Boom, perfect. Even though I don't really need it anymore. Because we actually got quite a bit of rubies just from, uh, just from going over here. I'm going to see if I can quickly spot any more. Oh, that's not good. So it turns out over here might actually be a better area to... Oh, hey, look, event. Cool. Oh, wow, look at that. Ah, oh, shoot, inventory full. Not anymore. All right, so now we know a really good place to actually get rubies. So that's cool. Because that area is just flat out rich with them. So, we can actually head back and confidently have both a Cyclops death module and some other fun stuff that also need, needs rubies. So, wow, that is... In fact, we can actually probably do a depth module right now. What does it take to upgrade it? Let's see. Oh, there's really no upgrade for it. Oh, no, there it is. Um, we need nickel ore. I don't know where nickel ore is. 
Oh, yeah, yes, I do. It's just deeper, so it's going to be a little bit before we can actually get that. So... Kind of digging the music in the background there. That's kind of cool. All right. Let's head back. Because I have a prawn suit to get. Look how deep that is down there. Oh, we can see the ground now. All right, we're gonna head back. We're gonna put some power cells into the charger and then we are going to go and craft ourselves a bronze. I can see my own neck. Can I do it? I can't do that in real life. Okay. So I can't see my neck in real life. Good to know. But this guy can, which is freaky. Yep, I can't do that. was that? Yeah, I see like a light pulse come from over there. God, this mouse is so sensitive. Ugh, but I like it like that. Huh. All right, we're back. Oh, that's too fast. Mm, slow down. And make some room. All right. We've got some work to do. Oh, hey, look at that. Our, um, our environment there it has quite a few fishes in it. And some nice plants. What does it take to build one of these things again? Because I want to put the uh, the eggs in their own. Actually, no, I don't. Let's get risky. I don't know what these eggs are, so this is gonna be kind of funny to see what happens with that. What's actually in those? Meantime, let's see. I wish I could manage to harvest. Not a whole lot, but enough. Alright, we're going to store all of that stuff there. Um, I don't have any bleach on me. That's not good. But we do have some low-hanging fruit here. Alright, cool. Let's uh, convert that to filtered water. 
I like how there's bubbles coming off the knife, even though I'm like in the air. Let's see. Um. Hmm. Yeah, I should, that should be good for now. rebuild the scanner room actually maybe maybe we can build hydrochloric acid though that's that's good to know so what does it take to build ourselves a prawn suit aerogel enameled glass diamond lead and pastel resins quite a bit of stuff actually um yeah let's let's rebuild that scanner room and also, we're going to need some of the gels, I just realized. To make some arrow gel. So let's take some of those gel sacks there. And... Oh, we also need some glass. There we go. Oh, and we're gonna put these two in there. And let's see. Hmm. Do I have any stalker tubes by any chance in these lockers? Nope. Um, let's go get some titanium. And we're gonna rebuild the scanner room. And we're also going to need to refetch all the, um, all of the, uh, whatchamacallit, it? the modules that we have for scanning, so that way it works better. Because I'm pretty sure we lost all those, um, back when I made the mistake of scrapping it before pulling them out. So, that sucks. So I'll just add the hatch there to the end. Oh wait, I can't because I took it off. Yep, it looks like those modules are gone for good. That kind of sucks. Alright. That was a waste of magnite too. Ugh. Crap. I don't even know where to get magnite. Oh, yeah, I do. I know a really good place to get it. Okay. Well, we don't need Magnite right now. But we will later for some of the prawn suit parts, I believe. Let's see. Right there. Um... Okay, that's, okay, we need the drill arm and the grappling arm. That's actually not expensive as I thought it would be. Oh, oops, I'm sorry about that. Although the propulsion arm is definitely expensive. So, we're needing more titanium for sure. And more lithium. And other than that, we're good to go. So I'm gonna set this thing here to search for some metal salvage and it's already finding some so even though it doesn't have as much range we should still be pretty good off with finding um salvage pieces in the meantime actually no because we're needing more titanium for the main suit itself so let's go and pick up all right we're actually gonna go check to see if we have any um titanium ingots ready to go right off the bat i 
don't know if I do I have enough diamonds. I don't think I have enough diamonds. Shoot, I might need to go back and uh, get more diamond. Hmm. Well, there's more titanium there. Thankfully, I know a relatively good place to find diamonds at. So, not too worried about that. But I also need stalker, to stalker teeth. So, that's something else we're going to need you know, more of. Luckily, just a hip scot, a hop skipping away. Alright. There we go. Um, what else is needed for the actual main prawn suit? Just out of main curiosity. Ah, uh, that's gonna take a while to get to. And some of this stuff. Ugh. We have a lot of, uh, a lot of stuff we're going to need to get. This won't be for a while, but that'll be nice to have, especially for the later parts of the game. I don't remember where. I think crystalline you don't get until you start exploring the bone areas, which that'll be nice to have. Um, <laughs> we had a lot of stuff to ahead of us here. Should really get the repulsion cannon. Um, but in the meantime, okay, so we have enough diamonds for the main suit, but we don't have enough for the drill arm. We're going to need one more lead and more metal. So, at least we have enough for the prawn suit itself. Okay, there we go. I need, I, I need one more lithium, I think. Uh-oh. Do I not have enough lithium? Okay, so it looks like we might actually need to make a trip to the island after all. Hmm. Okay. So, let's real fast go collect that metal salvage that we need, and then switch it over to stalker teeth. And after that, we're going to go and... Okay, that's below ground. That's not helping. Inventory full. Darn. So that's 12. Slightly helpful. Convert all of that. And get the big ingot. Boom. Alright. Let's get even more titanium out because we're definitely going to need more space for the titanium we're going to collect that's not just for the ingots for the drill arm and whatnot uh. all right and we're gonna get that one down there or maybe not There we go. Okay. And over here. Okay. Now we just need a stalker tooth. So let's go switch it over to a stalker tooth and convert all the metal into uh, titanium. Did those eggs hatch yet? Nope. Hmm. They might need plants in their from their environment to actually hatch. Interesting. Okay. Now 
not scared of her at all. <sighs> there we go. And we already have some stalker teeth marked up for us to pick up. This one feels more promising down here. Or maybe not. There's got to be a cave system below us here. Hmm. I could have sworn that I pulled the scan room fragments out. Well, where could they have gone, though? Ugh, unfortunate. There's gotta be one that's above. How are all the stalker teeth below the uh, the world, or like the the ground here, the earth? Like, is there? This one seems promising. No. Nope. Is there like a cave system below here that I'm not aware of? Because none of these, oh, that one is. Over there. That one seems like it's above ground, but it's probably not. Okay, it's not above ground. Instead, it's also in the cave system. Oh, no. No, it is. Okay, that doesn't make any sense at all. How all the stalker teeth are down there. Are they, like, falling through the ground or something? And just ending up, like, at the level, or what? Because there's no way to get down there. Alright, let's try again. Nope, that one's not accessible either. I don't think any of these are. Oh. Cool. All right. So let's go cancel that search and head to the island so we can get some diamonds and um, other stuff like lithium. Yeah, look at that, they're all below ground. Huh. <sighs> All right. It's a lot of titanium. Probably have a lot of titanium still in the sea moth though. I don't know why I'm like checking, scavenging for it like I am. 
In fact, let's check real fast. Oh, wow, we actually have not quite a... Oh, hey. We're actually kind of good on some resources, just due to that. Cool. All right. So now we're heading off to that cloud over there. Everything's fine. Everything is fine. <sighs> Almost there, actually. We're about, I don't know, halfway there. So, cool. Oh, there was two moons. Have I been on the moon rant for Subnautica? Oh yeah, there is two moons. About how this is, like, ridiculous, about being that close. I think I have been. can't see anything. Those moons would not be as bright as they are. I don't know if I'm going the right direction anymore. This feels way too far out. And yet, nope, seems good. It looks like there's a wall of fog in front of me over there. There it is. Oh, I was getting a little nervous there that I was going off the edge of the world. I'm not going to need the sea moth for this one. Although I should probably uh, try to store more resources on board. If possible. Yeah, there we go. Um, just so that way. Spade fish egg discovered. Oh, okay. So the egg that I picked up was the spade fish, I guess. Cool. All right. Those are some really good floodlights. Wow. All right. Okay. Now we just got to find a cave entrance. Shouldn't be too hard, considering this cave is, or this island is like 90% cave. There we go. I don't think this is actually the cave, I think this is just another passage. Yep, darn. Oh. <sighs> Hmm. 
All right. Well, minus the fact that I'm like really just done with everything right now, I think I'm feeling pretty good. So I can't wait for this semester to be over already. Only 14 more Mondays to go. Well, 13 actually, technically speaking, but yeah. Well, no, 14 if I'm including finals week. Because um, three out of five of my classes are all focusing on ethics. Already, shoot. Gotta have more time. At least the Cyclops is nearby so we can go back if we have to. We'll go back when it hits 10. I'm having a, I need I really need the sunlight. Like this is not working for me. Ow. Crap. Keep hitting my hand on my mic whenever I try to go and itch my face. Oh. <clears throat> Darn. At least it's bright again. All right, let's go get some water and drink some potatoes. I mean, eat some potatoes. Alright, that'll last me for quite a while. That whole potato thing is like, I think the best thing I've done in Subnautica. Like, forget actually getting my hands on the Cyclops. Like, an infinite food, sub like, food source. Like, at my fingertips. That's pretty great. Same thing with a coffee machine. Coffee machine's pretty good too. Alright, um So that must be the cave system over there. I don't know why I'm having such like a hard time finding the caves. Whether it be just due to lack of sunlight and not able to spot them or what but it's like the first thing I felt like the first thing I was on this island like the little like legitimately the first thing that I found was the caves ah wow I'm gonna die because of that and I'm creating more editing problems for me to do too that's fantastic. Ooh, I like that. That's a cool thumbnail, I think. Let's get it from like right up here. Oh, no, not there. Oh, there's the Unity physics engine again. There we go. Is that not taking a screenshot? Oh, there we go. Okay, it just was delayed. All right, cool. Well, I'll be sure to cut that out. I hope the audio isn't glitching out right now for the game. If it went silent, if the game ever just goes like flat out silent after a screenshot, that's because um, of some sort of like weird thing that happens after the Steam screenshot goes, the Windows game recorder um, then begins to have a hard time processing the audio so and I'm 90% sure it's happening right now so if it is my apologies there 
there should be like diamonds and stuff in, in this room, right? Like diamonds, um, mostly diamonds and lithium on the walls and, you know, stuff I can use. scattered upon the walls like there was no one's business but it seems to be not so much the case why am I getting underwater noises when I'm clearly above ground oh planters Watermelon, huh? I'll be taking that. And these more potatoes? Yep, more watermelons. Nice. That's actually a pretty lucky find right there. There's got to be a cave entrance or something I can go to that'll uh, give me some good resources. <sighs> I don't even know where I'm going. Oh, cool. Huh. Alright, we're just gonna running man down this mountain here. And, um... Hope to find a cave. So, come on, give me a cave. Like one where that has all the goodies in it. Maybe it's the other island I'm thinking of. It has all the, the good stuff on it. Well, lucky for me, there just happens to be an instant passageway to the other island. So we'll save that for next episode. Well, everyone, thank you for tuning in. And in the meantime, um, if you haven't already, please consider subscribing or leaving a like or even commenting. Let me know if there's anything in particular you did not like or enjoyed and... In the end, as always, have a fantastic